I feel like this might be a very common question for a lot of newer players especially. Hello guys, my name is Brito, I play Raid Shadow Legends, I love my wife, and today we're going to be talking about which starting champions are the best in late 2024. This guy asks, I'm about to start a new free-to-play account and looking for advice on which combination of free champions I should start with. The longest account I've played was 200 days in. That's pretty short. Uh, but I haven't played in a while, so my analysis could be way off. For the new player codes, I think these are the best options. Mordecai, AoE HP burner, he places HP burns. Uh, Synergize as well with the current login champion. Loki can extend Mordecai's HP burns, but he's going to get Drexthar in maybe three to four months if he's able to get it that quickly. Now, Mordecai seems pretty good, but mostly in the context of probably clan boss early on and spider. Outside of that, I don't really see him having too much use elsewhere, so he's not like my first pick. Sun Wukong for PvE. Sun Wukong is probably going to be the best, number one. A lot of people are going to say here, in fact, yeah, Sun Wukong is the best, you're right. Because Sun Wukong can be used literally, literally everywhere. PvE, PvP, he smacks really hard, or you can build him as a support champion. He's great in Hydra for either damage or support. There's not really anywhere I don't think I can use Sun Wukong. He's just that godly of a character. Taragi the Frog, I did a video on Taragi the Frog not too long ago. He was actually able to bring my hard Hydra team all the way to um, the turn limit. That was pretty good. Great for placing poison, so a little bit of damage. He's got the Reflect, he's got Ally Protect, um, just an overall great support champion. And for registration links, I think my best two options are any of these Tyrell. Tyrell has been power crept and he's fallen off, so he's not currently my number one choice if you have to choose, but he's still a solid champion. He's an OG, so there's that. Virgis brings Ally Protect and tankiness. He can also solo the Scarab. He can solo a lot of content. Grizzled Jarl brings heal reduction on his A1, A uh, Grizzled Jarl is a dwarf champion who does bring a lot of um, survivability and he's really good for uh, clan boss early on if you're using a trad team, a traditional team. Rector Draft is probably going to be like the second choice here. If you're choosing one here and then the second one here, probably Rector Draft because, and he even says it here, the easiest choice on the list offers, pre she offers premium support, hard to upgrade even uh, late game, even late into the game. Works well with other champions. She's got the Veil. She's got the heals. Decrease attack on the A1. She also brings the revives. So that's really great support. Uh, however, I could grind Jamarsa through referrals. She brings healing and resurrection, though much weaker. Exactly. You could just... Because Jamarsa only takes like 15 minutes. She doesn't take really long to get. I have a video on that too. She's able to do these things not at the same level though. Because her resurrection, her revival skill, is on a 5 turn cooldown. So that's not exactly the best... I think the best two options are Sun Wukong with Rector or Virgis, or Taragi with Grizzled Yarld and Rector Drath. I think Sun Wukong and Rector Drath is probably the choice here, but we'll see. Sun Wukong, Rector Drath gives, and Virgis gives me two great support champions to use in all content, Arena Specialist to ease the burden in PvP, considering getting four good starting champions, including Loki, Haikatoon, and 30. I've been overthinking this decision too much in the past few days. Any input would be greatly appreciated. So. I don't think you have to think too hard about it. Sun Wukong, Rector Drath, rock with it. All these other champions are good, but they're a little less useful in more generalized areas, personally. But let's see what people say. Uh, Wukong is by far the best choice. YouTube referral code that gets Tyrell and Rector Drath. Uh, Tyrell at 1, Rector at 25. You can still use the uh, Sun Wukong code. This is the one I use for my second account. Well worth it. Choose Kale as your starter champion and your setup as well. I wanted to add, there's no point in keeping Wukong in your inbox. You don't get points for champ chase that, that way. True. I'd go with Wu. Good uh, campaign farmer, PvP, and good at Hydra. You can use this code to create a code to get multiple champions and still use one of the promo codes. There are referral links out there that give both Tyrell and Rector Draft. Started my account under two months ago. Got Tyrell, Rector, and used the Monkey King code to get Sun Wukong. Great start. I did pull Taraki from Shards later. He's very strong but I would take Rector Drath over Taragi any day. I mean, you definitely have options when it comes to starting a new account. Like, uh, if you're brand new and you just started playing Raid and you didn't know about promo codes, I definitely think you should just drop whatever account you have right now, unless you have like an OP legendary champion or something, and then just restart with some new codes. And that way you have a stronger basis to stand on. Like, Sun Wukong is going to car carry you so far Rector Drath is going to help you out in a lot of content, but like Sun Wukong is an absolute no-brainer 
He's just an amazing champion. I don't even have to get get into it, but like if you want to see a guide or anything, I've got guides on him. I've got like three different I have three different videos on him. A hybrid Wukong, a nuke Wukong, and I've got a support Wukong build. So I've used him in, in all different kinds of capacities, and he's just an awesome champion altogether. Rector Drath, I don't know what it is about Rector Drath, but I like I know she's a good solid champion. I just can't bring myself to use her. I don't know what it is. I, I I think it's like, I don't like the way she looks or the way she operates. She feels slow to me, but yeah, she's got the decrease attack. She's got the heal, the perfect veil, the continuous heals. She's got the revive, turn meter boost and the perfect veil. And whenever an ally under a veil or a perfect veil gets a turn, heals them by 10% of their max HP, increasing the res of allies under veil or perfect veil by 50 points. And then she brings ally res and doom towers. So like, she's a solid champion. I just, for some reason, I just, can't bring myself to actually use her but obviously i don't think you should think on it too much just go start the account and start collecting loki and then get the the, the five star blessing for him as well like the most important thing is just to start and another question that i know a lot of beginners ask is who is the best starter champion when you're starting your game in raid when you're starting your account you're probably going to get a resounding kale because kale is has been like the best starter um that people recommend i mean 178.8 k reviews on him he's good in all areas pretty much uh, early on like he can nuke so he does this nuke and he does the fill of turn meter this is also pretty good for spider and then he does poisons on his a1 and then poisons on his a3 and early on when you're doing clan boss this is going to be huge for you did you realize kale has two masks on his on his hip I just realized that. He's also going to help you out in the other dungeons. The other options that you are offered are uh, Aethel, who is not exactly like a bad champion to go along with. Like she does have a triple hitter, so Fire Knight, she's got Weaken on the A1. She has a self buff and then an AoE. Um, kind of a nuke ability, but most people don't go for her. She's just not the choice. Uh, there's nothing wrong with her really, but I mean, look at the difference between her reviews versus Kale. The other options were Gaelic is another option, but he's pretty much just a no-brainer no. I mean, he he hits decently hard, but that's pretty much the same for all of the starter champions. He's He's got his decreased defense on his A3, so this has, it's a four times at random. There's a chance this helps you out in Fire Knight. There's AoE here, his Hellraiser razor move is his nuke ability. And then of course there's Elhane, who I really like because she does hit hard. And her A2 attacks one enemy, then all enemies, and then attacks all enemies twice. So you put her in like a stun set or something, and she's awesome. And she can also hit pretty hard as well. No,